So when we're talking about suicidal ideation, suicide intent, uh, it's super, super important to pay attention to what's going on with your kids. And, and there are old tried and true sort of just things to look for. Now, when it comes to boys and girls, they'll usually present very similar. And these are the most important things to look out for that I'm about to sort of list for you. Boys may tend to be a little bit with, more withdrawn and isolated. That's certainly a possibility. And sometimes boys can be a little bit more irritable when they're depressed, as girls tend to be a little bit more emotional and you know, more apt to cry and potentially socially isolate as well. But there are some very, very important bullets. Number one, and I think this goes without saying, but you'd be incredibly surprised at how many people blow this off. When someone makes a suicidal statement, and nowadays that could be anything from a text, a post on social media, actually telling you or your friends or someone that you know or that they know that they're feeling suicidal. They're verbalizing it. They're texting it. You have to take that seriously. And that's the biggest one, right? The other one, a very, very important thing to think about is sometimes what you'll notice is there'll be these themes of death or themes of suicide and it'll come up in conversation it'll come up in their writing it might come up come up in their art or their journaling but you might notice this sort of preoccupation with thoughts of death and suicide that might not be as direct as saying that i want to harm myself but you might see these themes that are really really important to look out for and then the other ones that we tend to notice through research and looking at data over the course of years is sometimes kids will actually start giving things away. They'll give away things that they loved, things that, that you would never think they would start giving away, things that had value to them, they would start giving away to friends, family, loved ones, peers. Um, so definitely look out for that. Another one is a social withdrawal. So what you'll see is basically paying attention to your kids and their lifestyle, suddenly they're just not present. They're just not as active and they seem more sullen and withdrawn. They're not engaging like they used to. So very, very important to pay attention with that. And as I said too, sometimes you see this with boys. It could certainly be with girls as well, but sometimes you'll actually notice hostile or aggressive behavior. So you might've had a timid, quiet child and all of a sudden they're just, they're just changing in the way that they respond to things, low frustration tolerance and sort of becoming a little bit more hostile and a little bit more aggressive. Um, those are definitely the big bullets, but listen guys, you always have to pay attention to things such as neglecting personal appearance or if there's sort of daily living, sort of activities of daily living change like neglecting personal appearance or taking care, care, care of themselves, running away from home, um, behaviors that are really important too is if you notice risk taking behavior. So suddenly they're just engaging in things that they normally wouldn't engage in. And sometimes we see that in anything from just being very impulsive and dangerous by the way they drive, or even just the way they're going about their day to day life, or even sexual promiscuity is something that you, you, can, you might see as well. And then, you know, honestly, the foundation of this is, and we're going to hopefully talk about this, is know your kids and a change in personality in general. So, so, so a child that's been upbeat and suddenly becomes kind of quiet and sullen, that's a red flag as well. Mm -hmm.